This, ladies and gentlemen, is a tiger nut. Now, tiger nuts do not just have probably the most unfortunate name of any edible food, but it also could be used to make tiger nut milk. In the age of milk substitutes, where we've got almond milk and rice milk and soy milk and hemp milk and oat milk and every other possible thing that you can make milk out of that is not milk, uh, tiger milk could, or tiger nut milk, can also maybe compete against those. Now, although this is called tiger nuts, it is actually not a nut. It is a tiger tuber, but tiger tubers do not sound nearly as interesting as tiger nuts. So, uh, yeah, but although it is a tuber, it actually has a lot of qualities that are similar to a nut. Uh, they tend to grow in areas that peanuts grow. That's fun. And it has a lot of protein and uh, fattiness and stuff like that that a nut would have rather than a like a potato or something. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to um, make that tiger nut milk. Hooray! So basically you do four parts water to one part tiger nuts. And yeah, so, yo! That has been two days that I've kept these uh, tiger nuts in this water. Water's looking kind of cloudy and gross, a uh, little, little slimy. They actually hydrated very well. It's not like waterlogged or anything, it's like, it's like fairly firm too. That is really good. That tastes like a cross between uh, an almond and a raw sweet potato. If you've ever eaten like a piece of raw sweet potato, actually pretty good. Try it. Although maybe not too much of here can like back you up. Maybe these back you up. Don't know. Anyway, yeah, it tastes if you were to cross those two together, like a nice sweet slightly starchy potato flavor but also a very creamy nutty flavor it tastes like there is some fat content in there where uh, a regular sweet potato doesn't really have that kind of flavor good very very tasty i can see just like sitting and eating those just as they are but let's make the milk yeah. The website I found that had a recipe on how to make this milk was like a very like benefits, health sort of website and it recommended using the water that you soak the nuts in to make the milk. And <clears throat> I don't know, sometimes I think health websites are not very healthy because I think if you leave water out for two days it's going to collect a lot of bacteria right? But they say that the water is going to be, you know, full of nutrients and uh, flavor. Yeah, it does have a little bit of that nutty flavor. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep it in. And uh, if I get, like, horribly ill, I'll let you know, and then you know to avoid it. If you have uh, a certain opinion one way or another, uh, put it in the comments below, fight about it, and maybe we can come to some sort of conclusion on whether or not you should be using this water or not. I think that in this small amount, I'm probably fine. But if you're gonna be drinking like a ton of water that's been like sitting out for two days, mm, probably not the best idea. There are all sorts of ingredients that you're supposed to put in this, including a sweetener, cinnamon, and uh, vanilla extract and salt. I'm just going to put a pinch of salt in there to kind of like bring out the flavor a little bit. The other stuff I'm going to add afterwards because I want to see what this tastes like without any additional flavors in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this out. Websites say to use a nut milk bag, which I don't own one of those. So I'm just going to use a regular strainer So I switched to a bigger strainer. Uh, that was a good idea. I just also like pushed the milk out as much as I could. Uh, <laughs> and I am now going to strain it one more time back into my cup. Yep, 
Yeah, that uh, that does look very creamy. Looks like milk. That's pretty good. This would be um, a good replacement for almond milk. It does have a slight starchiness to it, a little bit of like a sweet potato kind of flavor in there. It's not that strong though. It's pretty slight. It does have like a little bit of a sweetness to it. Not enough to really like go on the scale, but you know, like the sweetness that you would get from like almond milk. Milk, like straight from the cow, milk is like fairly innocuous. You know, it doesn't have like a super strong flavor. And that is something where if you're gonna be drinking like almond milk or coconut milk or something like that, it's going to impart a, a slight taste to it that you wouldn't get with straight milk. So if you're trying to find a replacement for milk, then those are, you know, they're approximate, but they do have like their little bonus flavors in there. This one has a lot of that. Like this has a very distinct, strong taste to it. Um, you know, not hugely strong, but compared to straight from the cow milk, this is, um, this is not that. This tastes creamy, it tastes milky, but it also tastes like nuts and potatoes. So not in a bad way or anything, but like if you want something to taste like a glass of milk, probably not the best option. If you want something to be used alongside milk or you don't need it to taste like milk, you want something to put in your coffee to make it creamy, or if you want to um, put something on your cereal, totally fine. I'm actually curious if this will work on coffee. I'll try that in a little bit, but um, I want to add some stuff to this to see if I can improve the flavor a little bit. Maybe if I add some sweetener to it and stuff like that, like the recipes I'm looking at recommend, maybe that will cut some of that flavor down. Or maybe you should dilute it. I don't know, but let's, uh, let's see. Maple syrup, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. These are things that are very often recommended to go into this. So let's see if that will make it better. Okay, can't get it open. Episode's over. Bye. Alright, fine. I loosened it with some hot water. Okay, so I, I'm just going to put a little bit in. I am not measuring anything. So I can't tell you how much, but let's just go with not a lot. The cinnamon especially, I don't think should really be much use. So there's like not, there's like a half a pinch in there. Okay. It tastes a little bit more like soy milk that you would get from the store, like sweetened soy milk. I guess that improves the flavor for what it is, just drinking it like on its own, but not as a replacement for milk. If you want a replacement for milk, I would say leave out those additional ingredients, just put a pinch of salt in there. Um, because the additional ingredients work well with the flavor of this, but it makes it a different type of drink. It makes it further away from a milk substitute and more like a horchata. So yeah, all this leftover nut material here by the way, tastes good. Tastes like, you know, potato-y almonds. This would be a really good thing to um, blend into some muffins or something. Banana bread. I would use it like that. Some places online say to throw this into a smoothie. I mean, you could do that too. I think it would make it a little mealy though, because these don't break down that fine. They're like a little bit fibrous. I mean, they are like a tuber. so. Uh, I think a baked good would make more sense for me, put in a bread or something, but, um, you know, have fun with it. Stuff you could do with it. Why not? Put on some ice cream, throw it in a salad, you know, put on a hamburger, just eat it. It's good. So I made muffins with the uh, debris from the tiger nut milk that I made, and uh, these are actually really good. I've been made them a while ago. I've been eating them. This one's been sitting in my fridge for a minute, but uh, yeah. So basically, I just took an oat muffin recipe that called for uh, walnuts, and I replaced the walnuts with the tiger nut uh, gunk. Tastes like um, 
a little bit more milky than you would expect. And basically, like, I just put some, like, almonds in there or something. The uh, little bits are maybe a little bit fibrous, though. But maybe not as ideal as having, like, actual nuts in there that would actually, like, contribute to the texture. This one maybe brings it down a little bit, but it's not, like, so super bad or anything. The true test of a milk substitute is its ability to work in coffee. Now, one of the reasons why I am not vegan and why I am vegetarian is that I drink coffee all the time, and honestly, milk substitutes do not work the same way that regular milk does. Soy milk doesn't really work, rice milk doesn't work, almond milk is like, it's okay. Oat milk is surprisingly uh, pretty good, but none of them really match up with straight up cow's milk. All right, here. Ooh. Not quite what it should be looking like if you were to add actual milk to it, but um, it is changing the consistency. It's not getting to um, clumpy or anything. That's something that sometimes fake milk does. Oh, actually a little bit. It's separating. It's not completely dissolving in there. It's forming like little little particles. But uh, if you stir that up, it does look pretty convincing. So <laughs> before it settles again, let me give it a try. Cow milk does work better, but this does help. Uh, it definitely does cut some of the bitterness down. Adds a little bit of a creaminess to it. It's on par with, mm, I'd say it's about the same as like almond milk. Maybe not quite as good as almond milk. Like I said, like this is like a fairly strong flavor um, in there. If you were to dilute it more to kind of make it more mild, it might work better in your cereal. It would not work better in your coffee. It needs to have a, a stronger concentration to it. Yeah, and it's separating again. So uh, not the best for coffee, but it does work. So that's about it. Very interesting um, milk that you can make out of it, and a very interesting nut. Like, tiger nuts, despite having a very unfortunate name, are very tasty. I can see buying these again just to like eat them as a snack. Uh, to make a milk out of it, sure, why the hell not? It's, it's totally fine, but uh, for me, just eating it as a snack is probably like what I would do with it again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.